Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and in today's video we're going to be answering the question, can you get a good microphone that is good for both gaming, streaming, YouTube, podcast, pretty much anything that you need it for, for under $50? Well, let's take a look. Today we are checking out the AmpliGame A8 from FineFine, and with customizable RGB lighting, gain control, headphone monitoring, plus a ton more, is it all a bit too good to be true? So as always, we're starting off with the unboxing. You have some info on how to use the mic in terms of the RGB, sound settings, and some mic arm details. Now you have a 6.5 foot USB-A to USB-C cable, which should hopefully be long enough for most setups. You then have an adapter which allows you to use the mic with a mic arm, which I'll be doing for today's video. You have a metal pop shield which is super handy for helping with plosives, which are basically the harsh S, T and P sounds which normally clip audio. And then of course you have the microphone which is in a shock mount and it also comes with a desk stand. Now for me though I would always put it on an arm if you can, and the main reason being is if you do hit your desk or you know the sound of your mouse, keyboard, whatever it may be, it may get picked up in the vibrations of the stand itself, but it's good to see that it's all included in this one cheap package. Now the design of the microphone itself is pretty nice, subtle and quite understated overall. However, you can turn on the RGB to really live up to that PC master race or turn it off if you want to have a very simple looking mic. Now on the top of the microphone you do have a mute button. Now this is very handy because if you want to drink anything, eat anything while on stream for example, or talk to someone else in the room, you can quickly mute the microphone without your buddies hearing what you're saying. And then on the bottom you do have the USB-C connector because again this is a USB mic so it's just plug and play on PC, Mac and even some games consoles as well and it has USB type C. Even my Blue Yeti microphone which I use pretty much for every video and costs way more than this one did doesn't have USB-C, it still has micro USB so that's a plus in my book. You also then on the bottom have a 3.5mm headphone jack to basically monitor sound. So if you're doing a podcast for example and you do need to monitor any audio, go back and change anything, or just for in-game, this is a really great and very easy option to have just simply on the bottom, plug in your headphones and acts as an audio pass-through and you're ready to go. And then around the back of the microphone you do have the gain control. Now this is great to change on the fly if you need to increase or decrease your volume, but it would have been nice to have it on the front instead of struggling to reach around it at the back. Now from what I can tell there's also no way to actually remove the microphone from the shock mount itself. Now obviously the shock mount is just held in with elastic and it basically just hovers the microphone in the middle section there. So I'm not sure how that would hold up if anything was to go wrong or break in that particular section. But from what I can tell you can't actually remove the mic fully which is a little bit of a shame. But you can remove it from the stand and then use it on a mic arm which is what I'm doing in this video. If however you do want to use the mic with the stand it's pretty heavy duty and should withstand most desk bumps or shifting around. Now the only metal piece of the actual microphone is the removable pop filter and it has a subtle fine fine logo on the front but it's not too in your face. However the microphone itself, stand and all of the connectors for the mic arm or the stand arm is all going to be plastic. It would have been nice to see some metal on there but again all that would have done is just to increase the overall cost and the plastic itself it seems pretty sturdy so hopefully it's going to hold up well over time. Now before we go on to the sound test, let's take a look at the RGB side of things. You have a button on the back which if you long press it will turn the lights on and off, and once on all you need to do is tap that button to change the lighting colours and styles. Now it's really nice not to have to worry about any sort of software or anything or setting anything up, it's a plug and play microphone. Once you've plugged it in, the mic is working, RGB is going to be on, ready to go and customise. Now you have 11 options to choose from when it comes to the colour settings. Now this is great because if you've got existing lighting in your room you can probably match it pretty closely to what you've already got or to the actual room itself, it's pretty customisable overall. So now that we've got the design side of things and the function side of things all out of the way, how does it actually sound? Well, I couldn't really hide it out of frame, so to nobody's surprise, I've been using the A8 for this entire video, so you can take this video as a complete sound test for the microphone. Now, I have also used it while gaming, and it does a great job for that too. My teammates notice right away the quality compared to my go-to Logitech headset, which I normally use. And overall, the microphone has some really great sound. It has some really good highs, the bass isn't really too overpowering, and just in general for anything voice related, it sounds great. So again, if you're using it for gaming or recording a YouTube video like I am right now, podcasts, voiceovers, whatever it may be, this is a really great budget option for what you're getting. And of course, let's not forget, it's under $50. 
And that's going to do it guys for this video on the Fine Fine Ampler Game A8 microphone. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this product and also the sound side of things. If it sounds good, bad, what you do or don't like, let me know in the comments down below and maybe we can have a conversation about it. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And if you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to do so. Also, once you've hit subscribe, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you're notified anytime I post a video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.